Hey guys, it's Savannah here. I wanted to hop on and share with you a tutorial on how to make the folders in the Digital Dash Box kit. So Digital Dash is a digital kit. Um, you get, I'd say over three, 400 files a month for $9.95. You get every single planner size, all the dashboards, all the inserts, and this month we're adding a brand new product, folders. I'm so excited about these. They're so, so cute and super fun in your planner. And honestly, I love just stuffing them full of all the pretty things that I have for that month and decorate my planner with them. So this will come in all different planner sizes and you'll have files to do for each one. So first you'll get the file and you'll print it. So choose B6 or whatever one you want and you'll print out the files. There's a front and a back file because you can see here it's double sided. So it's really cute. So this would be the back of the folder and this would be the front. So then you would also pick which side you want. So if you have like a ring bound planner, you would only get um, one side, but for a TN, there are two sides. So you can make a fold over folder. That kind of makes sense. So for the ring bound, you would punch along the side, but for the TN, you could either leave it like this or you can join it together and have a folder. So you'll pick your size and then you'll print out the um, coordinating files and then you'll just cut them out. They're super easy. I cut mine by hand on my paper cutter. You can use scissors. Really, really easy. I wouldn't even bother using um, like a silhouette or anything. Just straight lines, super fast. So once you have them um, printed out on the both sides like this and then you have them cut out, you can assemble it. So there are multiple ways to do this. You can either do it just like this and then what I do, what I would do is take like a tape runner and then tape along here and here, obviously on this side, and then just stick it down and you get a nice little pocket right there. Or you can use like some washi tape and do that along there and seal out the edges. Or there's another option of laminating it. But say you just want to use this and you don't want to laminate it and you don't want to mess with that, then you would just tape that down and tape that down and then you would flip it over and once those are together to make the actual folder part you would join these up like that and then you would run washi tape right down the middle and that's what's going to join the two pieces together to give you that like folder like the closing folder and that's a super quick way if you don't have a laminator or you don't want to do that this is really 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 cute um we're also going to have matching washi tape in the kit too so you can print that out and use that washi tape and be super super cute um the second option is laminating it and so what you would do is take your pieces and line them up super perfectly because you're going to be putting the steel laminator so there's no changing it so then i'm going to put these in a laminating sheet and i'm going to put this in right next to it so you can either do it like that, so you have it going like this, or like that. And then I'm just going to put just a little bit of room in between the two. And that's where I can make my crease and fold it into a folder. So I'm going to go run this through the laminator, and I'll be right back to show you how it turns out. Okay, so I ran this through my laminator. You can see here it was kind of a little bit too hot in the beginning. So just be sure when you're running it through your laminator to get the right temperature setting. Um, I used 3 mil lamination on this because you can see here it's nice and bendable so look at that it's so cute it's perfect especially when you put like a nice crease in there but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the edges out with my paper cutter and I like to leave a little bit of room just so that I can have um, a little bit of lamination still there so it doesn't peel. So now you'll see here, it's all nice and cut out. Super, super cute. You can see, look at that. So then to make the actual folder part, what you're gonna do is you're going to cut it with either an X-Acto knife. Um, I couldn't find mine. So I just got a pair of my scissors, really sharp scissors. I'm just gonna take that. I'm gonna cut along this edge right here. What that's going to do is you're going to cut through the first layer of lamination and you're going to make sure not to press too hard because you don't want to go into the paper. So then you would just 
go down right along that edge and do it lightly and then kind of keep testing to see like that didn't quite go through so I'll do another pass oh, and you can feel it you can start to feel the paper a little bit there we go and then just a little bit a little bit more actually There we go, and look at that. It's perfect. So you have a nice little folder. And you can see here, both sides done, and you have this adorable foldable pocket. So then what I would do is I'd lay it down, and i just make this crease, like extra done like that. And then you have a beautiful folder. You can just slip it right into your TN. And if you have a ring bound, you would just punch along the side, and then you'd put it right in your planner. But look how cute that is. It's double-sided little pocket folder you can put all your goodies in there it's awesome so you can get this um in the december digital dash kit you can sign up at digital dashbox.com um we're going to be putting this in all of our new kits as well so be sure to even if it's past december right now be sure to sign up because we are going to have some adorable folders in all of our kits and you get them in all planner sizes so hope you love it